Welcome to Bites of Taiwan. This is Lindsay, and this is part two of my Kaohsiung trip, lunch at the fancy Tian Shui Yue hot pot. We will wait around for my friends and then get seated and start eating. My table just spent an inordinate amount of time trying to decide what to get. This is Kai, by the way. And we finally decided to get the individual hot pot bowls instead of like a whole group set because it got really confusing. But now we are looking at the sauces. Onions, garlic, peppers, scallions, and some free drinks over here. It's a very nice atmosphere, kind of dimly lit, romantic. <laughs> okay, so my friends already got their individual hot pots. This is Caroline, Emily, and Sammy. What type of broth did you get? Uh, the kombu standard broth. I got this. chicken broth, I think. What did you get, I Sammy? Milky broth. Milky broth. broth. Cheese with it. This is cheese? Yes. Cheese. A little flour. Fascinating. <laughs> We're gonna get ours soon, I hope. We got all of our different hot pots, and it's really cute because we all have all these individual little bowls. So you can see it is a huge spread. I don't know how we're going to have all this food. Oh yes, by the way, this is Emily, this is Anna, and this is Jessica. So I got the mala spicy broth. Kai got the chicken broth, which is their most popular one. Emily and Anna got the vegetarian. What did you get, Jessica? I got the most popular one too. This individual set comes with fish, squid, broccoli, mushrooms. I really love these mushrooms right here. Lettuce, cabbage, some pumpkin, as well as some beef. You like it overall, guys? Very good. That's delicious. What do you like about it? Mm, I just love the variety. I don't think I've ever been to Hot with just so many selection of things to eat and try. It's fun mixing all together and mixing and matching and each bite is kind of a new combination. I really like it. Ooh, well said. How do you like it, Garrett? It's good. Yeah, we both got the spicy broth. But I'll I'll cook a piece of beef now. So let that go for like a few seconds and voila! A cooked piece of beef. This is really good. I'm not sure exactly what's in the mala pot, but all the spices are definitely present in the beef and it makes it taste really good and flavorful. Unlike other hot pot places that I've gone to where maybe it just tastes like boiled beef, which is not a bad thing, but this is especially good. I've managed to cook some more food. Our mala came with pig's blood and yeah, I mean, I've had it before. It's not my favorite, but I'll try it right now. Actually, this tastes really good. I see why they have it in the broth now. It really soaked up that like mala spicy flavor. It's very silky, kind of like tofu. Garrett said that he really liked the cabbage, so I'll try that now. Good texture. Very oily. I mean, it soaks up a lot of like the spicy oil. I don't think I like it as much as like the beef or the pig's blood, which is unexpected for me. So what do you think of the mushrooms? Mushrooms. Um, the forest of mushrooms initially are kind of like a mouthful, but once you let it simmer for a little bit, you can just break it apart. And then, given that it's been like soaking up all the juices for a good like 20, 30 minutes, then it tastes absolutely delicious. I'm not the biggest fan of fish, and I tried to eat it initially sashimi style, but that tasted kind of mediocre. I put it in the pot, let it cook, and it just seems like regular white fish. A little flavorless, but edible. <laughs> I took Jessica's squid. It was really good. It just was extremely salty like the ocean. And I have yet to try the clams and the shrimp. Oh, have you tried the clams or shrimp yet? Yeah, yeah the clams are delicious. When you put them in the pot, well, they start, they start closed and they're pretty hard, right? So once you put them in the pot, they heat up and they cook right up and fall out. Then you gotta go fishing for them. But other than that, it's good. The shrimp's delicious too. I've been dipping my beef in the sauce, but for the vegetables, I just usually leave it unadulterated and just from the pure flavor of the broth. I actually like the broth the best. Like that's my favorite part of this whole meal. I think it's extremely flavorful. Overall, I really like this hot pot place. I thought the broth was incredible. The spicy broth is really good, but I also tried some of Kai's chicken broth and that was also really flavorful. The beef was 
really good and it soaked up all like the spices as well as all the vegetables. I liked how there is mushrooms, pumpkin, even cucumbers, lots of different things and the shrimp, clams, fish. There's just so many different things to try and they all tasted really good. Like they're all pretty high quality food. We paid 350 NTD for each, which is just over $10. So you really can't beat the price for the quality and taste of the food. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this place. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's a really good first meal in Kaohsiung, and I'm excited to try more food that Kaohsiung has to offer.